Today, we get off this rock. Tomorrow, medieval times. Well, maybe tomorrow. I'm not entirely sure yet. But the whole point of this episode is the final, right? I, want, I really, really want to do this event where we launch the spaceship because I've never launched it before. Um, not not the spawned in one. I've, I've, I've built one before with the with the research, but I've never actually launched the, uh, the friendly AI one that you get lying around. So this should be a fun experience for me that I've never done before. And I think it's a nice way to end the series as well with the whole colony leaving and, and leaving behind this legacy of these horrible robots doing all their crossbreeding experiments for them. The mystery of Gene Corp. Who were these people and why did they make horrible monstrosities? Now I think we have an issue in that we can't take the horrible monstrosities with us um, because we can't load them. Some are literally ridiculously heavy. So heavy we can't launch them. So I'm thinking... We just leave them here for defense. We can't take Arnold. We can't take the Cthrombo, um, or, or the Giant Beetle. We can't take the Mecha Thrombo. It, it's very little point in actually taking them with us because the, the, the big angry ones. We could make some... Hang on a minute. We could make some incubators and launch those off. Because I imagine incubators don't weigh very much, right? Do we have Thrombo genes? Bear genetic material, insectoid. Uh, we've got wolf. What are the, what are the Thrombo? Were they like, uh, like a weird color though, weren't they? Muffalo? Well, whatever we've got, we could breed some crossbreeds and ship those off. Like, like maybe even the Eldritch uh, Mechanoids. Those would be pretty good. I don't know if we can even make Eldritch Mechanoids in hindsight. Whatever were powerful. We can make some of those and launch those off for defense purposes. But this base, I think we're going to have to leave behind whatever we've got. Um, just for defense and mainly because we can't load them onto the pods. A little bit of a shame. We could make more of the um, Mecha Spiders, though. We can make a lot more of those. How many have we got? We've got eight of those genes. Yeah, we don't have any more Thrombo genes, which is a bit of a shame. I'll make a shit ton of mecha thrombos and we'll put the incubators onto the pods and launch them over and hopefully they won't incubate before we can get them over to Donuts' camp in a couple of blasts. This middle camp now is just entirely powered by Omnibots and, and my. I think it's two Omnibots and two my robots. Yeah, it is. So while they've got nothing else to do because it's apparently way too cold for crops to grow, I've just got them, uh, just got them mining out here. In the hopes that we can build a hydroponics facility and actually grow some some fuel in that whatever the hell we, we use to make fuel these days. So that's the plan. This one's kind of set up, and we don't need to touch it anymore. This base is in the middle of getting a lot of defense. I basically just built a two-block thick titanium wall around everything, and that's all I've done. Um, and planted a shit ton of bamboo as well, so we can actually make wood out of it, wood which I'm building the whole base out of because it's quick and easy. I think this episode, we should ship the rest of the human colonists from Gene Corp over to Donis' camp. We'll leave behind... I've built a couple more My Robots to help run this place. We'll leave those boys behind. Everyone else... Let's send him to freedom. Let's get him off this goddamn planet. It is kind of cursed. It's full of Aldrich monstrosities. We've sort of ruined the whole ecosystem. Let's get him gone. Right, so let's load Chode Smirtley, Dobson, Vricko, and Grantly Grimble. We're leaving Alchemia behind because he's the one in charge of all the animals, which means if there's a raid on this place, it's got the best chance. But we will take Alchemia in the next lot of drop pods. Um, what do we want to give you guys to take with you? How much weight have we got? 40 out of 140. Alright, we don't have to, have to worry about days of food or anything. What do we want to send? We want to send basically all the titanium we've got, because that's what we're going to build the walls out of around the spaceship. Where the fuck is titanium on this list, then? I hate the way this list is laid out. Alright, there we go. Oh, man, titanium barely weighs anything. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> weighs like a sixth of the uranium. That's so light. Okay, well, we can apparently send 2,000 titanium as well. Fuck it. Send them all. Uh, the caribou will be immobile if you send the pods to an empty tile. Continue anyway. Absolutely. Hang on, we can send them... 600 out of 600 matter. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, except, yes, they will be loaded up and then flown away. Now, I've set up the titanium to automatically be next to the drop pods. That's going to be really uncomfortable. Being crammed in these tiny little pods next to a shit ton of titanium as well. Contents nothing, nothing, um, nothing. What do you mean, contents nothing? Oh, right, because they've all loaded it into one pod. Why have they done that? That's so strange. That doesn't make any sense at all. So it's the actual... It's not per drop pod it works out. It's its the cumulative mass of all the drop pods is how much they can take. That's thats a bit weird. Um, so Chode Smirtley, Grentley Grimble, Thick Boy, and 2,000 Titanium. Sorry, Grentley, you're in for a bumpy ride. Rico, let's get the fuck out of here, team. Onwards to Donitz. Onwards to Victory, to the next planet. I, it, I would like to see a Glitter Tech world. Mod. I don't even know how the fuck you'd do that. But if we could build a, a Gene Corp within civilization, I think that'd be pretty crazy. Right. Drop the boys off. Godspeed, gentlemen. Tay is immediately. Like I said, with all these Omnibots and these robots, that this, this base is going to basically run itself. Basically, basically run itself. Okay. Um, what have we got over here? Everyone's landed. Let's get these pods loaded up as well, please, team. Exactly the same orders. So we're going to get Chode Smirtly. Dobson, Bricko, Grantley, Grimble, and then all the titanium we've got. We're going to have to wait for them to actually hold it to the stop, though. Kind of a bit of a pain in the ass there. So these boys are going to get there in no time at all. 
These two, these two jumps are a bit more convenient than having to caravan for six days over there, right? Eh? Right, these boys are done. And then all the titanium... Was that all of it? Oh, right, they're just still moving it around on stop piles for whatever reason. Right, let's try again. Um, you boys, and then... I assume these drop pods can't fail. I assume we can't get some, like, cataclysmic event where it fucks up. I'd hope so, anyway. Um, so we can't... Wait, can we overload them? What happens if we do that? I guess they move less distance? Huh. It doesn't matter too much. Because, I mean... Catapult Yeah, okay. Because for now, we are we can massively overshoot the ship. So maybe we can send them with more fuel, less distance. Like, take it away from the maximum. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Is everybody on board? Rico, Chode, Smirley, Dobson, and Grantley Grimble. Good luck. Onwards to Camp Donitz. And onwards to the stars. Right, um, oops. Shit, I don't know where I clicked then. I clicked my DPI button on my mouse, so they're going to land basically anywhere. Please don't go straight through the ceiling. Oh, God. That was close. Hello, team. Welcome. And the Omnibots are immediately going to... There we go. Look at that. Omnibots and Donuts immediately bashing out the last of the walls there. We've got more than enough bedrooms for everybody. I was I was pretty... Uh, I wanted to make sure that we had that set up before we actually bought them over here. Pretty diligent with that. Right, let's get a couple more beds put down. Fuck knows what's happened with this furniture. Like, they've built some beds in some rooms, but not in others. Not entirely sure why. Mediocre bedroom. Is it really? 39. What, even with the, even though all the furniture in there is excellent, it still counts as mediocre. That seems a bit weird. All right, what we'll do then is let's, um, I could spruce the bedrooms up so they're not quite as sad. Uh, any generic shitty furniture will do. Like plant pots? You got any plant, you got any more of those plant pots? There we go. Just put one of these in each room. That would cheer them up, I'm sure. There you go. See, life's not all that bad. You have some roses in your bedroom. Everybody cheer up a little bit, you know? All you guys do over here is just... It's, it's basically just recreation time. Why wait for everyone else to turn up? Pizza time. So I don't know why they're all sad. <laughs> I don't know why they're all sad about living here. It's like the best place. So now what we do need, I've noticed very uh, recently. Where the fuck was that robot? I wanted to point it out, but I can't see it anymore. Um, we do need some recharging stations for our My Robots at this base before they horribly explode. So a couple of those definitely wouldn't go amiss. Um, we'll just basically put them anywhere. Uh, it doesn't need to be connected to power, does it? We'll put them in the storage room then. Sorry, robots. I don't think they really give two shits about... You know, the state of where they live, though, so that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and run some more power cables into this room. So we can turn that light on. This swamp is really inconvenient. Fucking swamp in Rimworld is, like, the worst thing they've ever added, I think. Jesus, it gets... it. Look at all, how much it's in the way. What is... Why could we not build here? Oh. That was just me being a fool, then. Right, so we actually need to bridge over that as well. Jesus Christ. The one thing I did is dig up the buildings, too, so we can try and expand this farm, get as much bamboo as possible, so we can make as much wood as possible. Um... I don't know why we'd need that much wood, but, I mean, they've really got nothing else to do. Like, the robots and the Omnibots are just sort of driving around wasting power, so might as well put them to work. Okay, um, let's remove the floors of whatever stone is left here. Not much. Get some more tilled soil put down. Nice. Okay, that should be that. Everything's good to go. So we'll blast over Alchemia, and then, when we've got a little bit more of de a defense, it's not perfect, a little bit more of a defense, I want, I want it to be titanium three blocks thick. Then I'm more than happy to send in the end game. I think I think we'll be ready at that stage. New lovers, excuse me. My two tried to flirt with Mai by implying good things about his own clothes. Mai was attractive and is now My Two's lover. Well, there we go. Um, I'm glad then in hindsight. Oh shit, they want to sleep together. You fucking shit robots. I'm glad in hindsight I did some male some. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, now nah, we're good. We're good. Move on. Move on. What are you doing? Stop. Jesus, what was that about? Holy shit. Right. Um, let's go ahead and get another one of these recharge benches down. Then we'll slowly move some more titanium over here. Right, this is going to be a pretty hefty care package. So I'm sending advanced components, regular components, a shit ton of titanium and alchemia to the next colony. Um, along with some like miscellaneous stuff, steel, regular components, plasteel, that type of thing. Right, that's going to be arriving at base 2. We need some more drop pods to be built here. It's a shame they don't automatically rebuild drop pods when you launch them. Shame we can't designate it with the um, th this one here. Rebuild of destroyed structures in the home area. Alright, welcome back. Okay, oh, I sent some chem fuel as well just to help cover the, the bill here whilst we don't have anything able to grow. So we can't make any more fuel. Alright, we'll get that stuff hauled in and then we'll ship them off. Uh, anything else? Yeah, no, that was it. Alright, just waiting on this. A little bit more titanium. Okay, sweet. Pull that down. Hey, pull that back. My, leave it alone. Alchemia, off you go. Worth 27k. I, again, I'm not sure if these things can actually blow up and fail or anything like that. It'd be kind of a kind of a shame if we did that. 
Um, or, or if that was something in-game and I've just not even noticed. We'll send some plasteel, I guess. Oh, we got shit tons of steel here. Send the steel. Right. So this base with the quarry can also help just send packages of its own to, to Donis' caravan because they're not getting many resources generated. Um, whereas these Omnibots in the quarry, they're just fucking churning out resources. Look at these boys. So we've got like aluminium there. That one just grabbed some more, more steel there. 826. This is, I haven't been sending steel to this base. This is all extra stuff that uh, these robots have been digging up. What is wrong with you people? Why are you so sad all the time? Body pure is violated. Oh, well, that's expected for you. Except in the cold. Is it really that cold on the map? It's 30 degrees. What the fuck are you talking about? It's literally colder indoors. Oh, God. Hang on. It's colder indoors. Uh, all the food's going off. <laughs> Classic. Didn't even think of that one. Okay. Um, wow, it's really warm in this place, eh? Right, so what we'll do then, we'll dig that out. We'll put a... Um, We'll put a couple of, of freezers to this side, and then we'll reinstall the butcher's table and the cooking benches into this big area here. Things we've got plenty of fucking room. Um, build that one there. I don't even know if I've set the bills on these properly. I sort of... Yeah, no, I didn't think I did. Butcher creature. Do forever. And then it's this one got... Yeah, it's, it's cooking simple meals. I forgot to butcher creature, though. Right, there we go. Um, let's go floors and wooden floors there as well. Get rid of this fucking rotten pig. Span this zone out. All right, there we go. That's a lot better. Nice. Okay. Onwards. Two. Map Donuts. All right, so this is the last of our human colonists back at the boys. Back at the base. This is so cool. So I think that's everybody dealt with then. Everybody's reunited. Holy shit. Except for <clears throat> Nick and whoever the fuck else died. I don't remember. I've lost track at this stage. We could have been building a hospital here. That's one thing I have forgotten about. A sort of dedicated hospital area definitely wouldn't go amiss. Um, so let's, let's build a sort of L shape from here. Um... That'll be fine. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely fine. I really don't care that much. Um, it's just a sort of temporary thing so that anybody who's injured in the upcoming raids are going to have a dedicated place to heal up. We keep all the medicine in this room as well. Um, what have we got? Hospital bed. What do they need? Steel components. We've definitely got those things kicking around here. Right, so we get like... Uh, we won't put too many hospital beds down. Got to remember that I've also got to do all the misc shit as well. So we've got like... Um, what is it? Wall vitals monitor. We get a couple of those put down. And then we've also got surgical lamps... So try and be... How can I do this? We'll put one there, one there, one there. Surgical instruments. One there, one there, one there, and one there. Right, so those two beds have a lamp. Uh, so this one has lamp table, lamp table. Yeah, okay, we should be good with that. Right, and then the last thing we need is... It might be worth building some life support as well. Just because it will keep them alive if we don't get to them in time. Say they're bleeding out profusely, they, they won't die. They'll just need, you know, immediate healing. Um, we'll see what sort of resources we're looking at after we're done with this. My god, that hospital took no time at all to build, eh? That was pretty impressive. Good work, team. Thank you, Chode. Appreciate it. There we go. Hospital's up on its feet now, so anybody who's horrifically injured could come and... Oh, shit. Are we out of steel? We may be out of steel. Hang on. Um, we are absolutely out of steel. Of all the things you think you'd run out of, steel is not one of them, eh? Right, let's turn on this other, other AI. I don't know why I stopped doing that. Right, let's get you turned on. Welcome aboard. Expand this zone out. Now, we could do with having just a quarrying area for the robots. If they've got really shit all else to do, just have them quarrying constantly. Uh, let's go production and mini quarry. Right. I mean, genuinely, anywhere. It really doesn't matter that much. Closer to the base, the better. But, oh man, we could put it like here. And we're only missing, only missing three blocks with that one. Um, yeah, we'll do it there. Just because it's also inside the wall. I don't really mind losing some what's our lentils. Who cares? Um, that will be absolutely fine. Thank you. Right, let's expand this corn zone out. Boom. Thank you very much. Get rid of this apparently single potate. That doesn't seem right. Um, and then we've got bamboo as well. Just fucking everywhere for building resources. Uh, that is apparently something we can't build on. I might expand out the lentils a little bit more because those are our sort of main food stuff here. So let's get rid of some... Let's get rid of... Oh, cry. Come on! The zone in this... The fucking zones in Rimod are atrocious. It's so bad. They're just fucking terrible. Every time I play this game, I have a problem with zones. <sighs> right, okay. Shrink. Shrink zone. Not completely destroy zone. I might have hit the delete zone button. It might have been my own fault. I don't think I did. Fuck off. Look at this nonsense. Get out. Right. Expand. There we go. Thank you. Fuck. Every time with these fucking zones, honestly. Drive me insane. Right, let's start a new zone then for bamboo. So I figured in the worst case scenario, what's going to kill us off? And it's going to be people having mental breakdowns and it's going to be a lack of food due to a cold snap or something. So I'm going to put transparent roofing over the entire base here. Turn this into a big indoor farm. That way we're basically 
almost recreating Gene Corp, but over on this side of the map, right? With, with our big indoor farm, our big titanium walls. I'm going to finish off this last titanium wall. Then we're going to load it up. And I think we're ready to go at that stage. I've kept... I, well, I built a couple more robots in the main base for a start. And also a couple more launchers just to see if we can send over some more stuff. Um, oh my god, I thought it was a raid then. It's actually been ages since the last raid. I feel like almost the game has completely given up trying to kill us at this stage. I think we've, I think we've made it scared. Well, maybe I shouldn't say that, otherwise I'll, in, I'll incite it, won't I? So, let's see what we can send in all of this stuff. Now, I'm thinking, because it's raising the maximum weight of what we can send, maybe we could send a Mecha Thrombo? I'm not entirely sure. Um, I don't know that that's how it works, but we'll give it a go anyway. Um, see, it's raising the maximum weight. We fucking can. That doesn't make any sense. So what, are we like welding them all together? This is pod racing, boys. Um, so what do we want to send? So the Mecha Rat is shit. Pringle is terrible. Um, we basically just want to send the Mecha Thrombo because it's a disgustingly powerful uh, siege beast. And then anything else we can send is just a bonus at that stage. So we'll ship off more titanium, if you don't mind, for the Grand Wars. Jesus Christ, we've got 3,000 here now. Christ. Um, and we could send a 1,000 of it. That's absurd. Now I want to test my next idea. Can we overfill them? Uh, oh, too much for the transport pods. Can we... Oh, so we can't overfill them. Oh, well, that's answered my fucking question then, you prick. I was going to say, can we overfill them and expend more fuel but reduce our maximum distance? Apparently, that's not a mechanic. Um, I don't know why they'd ever let you overfill them in that case. It doesn't really make much sense. All right. So, let's get to work, team. Um, so, we've actually got... What's that? Oh, shit. We've got six transport pods. Should have changed the fuel level on this one before we launched off. All right, there we go. Um, that's okay, though. It doesn't matter too much because on this one, we've only got five pods anyway, right? Um, yeah, we've only got five pods on this one, and we can't really fit anymore. I could, I guess, rebuild a bit of the base. Doesn't matter that much. We're just sending supplies at the end of the day. This is, like, such a, such a minor little attention to detail. Right, so these boys, we actually had no fuel here whatsoever. So I sent them to basically go and deforest this entire pine forest. We're quite lucky that even though it's a cold snap, there are still a million tea trees around. So although they can't do anything, they can still make fuel, which is pretty great. Oh, they can't, they can't plant crops or anything like that. So we're just going to wait for this lot to be done. Do we not have bills on this one? Uh, yeah, we do. They're just taking ages. Alright, that's fine. Um, don't need much more fuel there anyway. Transport, but titanium became unavailable. Why? We're not building anything out of titanium in this base, are we? At least I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. Man, I love this base so much. Oh, there he goes. The Mecha Thrombo. On you go, pal. See you next time. Welcome aboard. Alright, so, I, again, I should probably build some more crossbreeds as well. Unless we just send the genetic information. Oh, no, because it needs to be frozen, doesn't it? Um, yeah, fresh frozen won't spoil. Can we send the... Uh, the only thing I worry about is sending the incubators. Whether or not they will hatch before we can actually get the creatures over there. So what I want to do is crossbreed... I mean, basically mechanoid anything, right? Me mechanoid... Mecha spiders wouldn't be a bad idea. So we can make another eight mecha spiders. Um, and just blast those guys over for, for defending the base. For helping out with the big wall to come. So why don't we do that? Um, what is that? Mechanoid insectoid, right? Um, mecha... Insectoid. There we are. Okay, so do that. Oh, no one apparently fits a bill of intellectual. I have a feeling the Omnibots, though, are more than capable of doing it. We'll wait and see how it goes. Um, one downside to obviously shipping everyone else is if we need to do, like, obscure shit like this, they won't be able to do it. Um, what about... Maybe the Omnibots can do it? Maybe they're just all asleep? Oh, there we go. Hello. Welcome. Uh, Ted Liners Bank, Federation of and Transport Pods. Ooh, that's quite a lot. Oh, shit, they've arrived there? Huh. Right, what have they got? Light weaponry. Couple of things like shotguns. We've got some grenades. That's definitely worth worrying about. I feel like we can just fucking roast them. Honestly. Why are they tilling around the defenses? Oh, you know what we can do? Scum it. Send in the traders. <laughs> I love it when we do this. It's so funny. Send them in. It's because this wall's only two blocks thick, right? There we go. Go fight my wall for me. In fact, we will send in everyone as well. Just because I don't want to get, you know, completely annihilated here with our backs turned. All right. Um, the Tay bots. Oh, sorry. The, the my bots now. I forget we called it Tay. These guys can actually have weapons. So that we can send these boys into the more dangerous situations. And they'll just regenerate of their own accord. Dave, you can't fight. Come and hide. Chode Smirtley apparently doesn't have a weapon. Shield Belt of Discovery. What the? Oh, he's a brawler. Fair enough then. Um, can we grab a spear or something? At least at least you'll be somewhat useful then. Um, we've got an Ironwood Spear. Oh, we've got apparently a Fast Spear. That'll do. Uh, Vrico has a weaker weapon. So go get the APB rifle. What the fuck was that? Grenades, I assume? Yep, they're, they're grenading the titanium walls. Oh god, they're actually going to get through in no time. What the fuck? So, titanium walls are getting roasted that quickly? Okay then. Um. Right, go this way then. They're going to attack the ship. Don't attack the ship. I haven't done the research to rebuild it, you fucks. Hey, get out of here. There we go. 
Embrasures probably wouldn't have hurt, but we're absolutely roasting them. The traders have come in. The classic trader flank maneuver. It's like, uh, it's like Sun Tzu said. Full house fails. Send in the fucking traders. Oh, the Omnibots. Get out of there. Shit. Oh, we've only got one Omnibot in this. I guess we probably do. That's one thing we could send. Because we know the Omnibots can build more Omnibots. I should send over a shit ton more Omnibots over here and disable the mines instead. Right, that's it. Fuck off. Get out of here. God damn. Sorry, you guys. Uh, your, your, uh, your, your loss will be remembered. Thank you. Thank you for your sacrifice. Right, let's go ahead and allow all. Bought some medicine. Very kind of them. Um, a couple more. We'll just go ahead and finish those boys off. Can't be bothered with fucking corpses floating around everywhere. I'm really not interested in that too much. Get the rest of them hauled. Get all the bodies hauled. The robots can do that, so it's not a big deal. All right. Oh, God. Here we go. Something otherworldly at... Okay, thank God. I thought this was the, uh, the refuel station, but at the my base, it's a little more easy to fight because we actually have robots capable of combat. Um, hmm. He says that. I'm not that confident that the sushi restaurant is going to survive this. A lot of the damage is going to come from... Let's get these boys equipped with the MRG Elite Rifles. That sound pretty useful. Some of the flamey rifles as well wouldn't hurt. Is that the only flamey rifle we've got left? It is, isn't it? Okay. Get them to equip whatever, I guess, enhanced weaponry we've got at that stage. We've got accuracy on that one. Uh, this one's got... Oh, that's shit. They're the only combat-capable robots we've got. Shit. All right. Disable everything. And then manually disable them all because sometimes the deactivate all button doesn't work. Oh, thank God. That seems like an odd thing to say when you've got great deep ones uh, attacking your base. The good thing is, though, oh, fuck. Is that our aero fleet? It is. Herd animal of Gene Corp. Oh, my God. It's baiting them. We've trained it. It's baiting them through the kill box. You glorious little aero fleet. You may have saved... Oh, God. Well, this is why it's a good thing. Oh, apparently they're also all catching fire, making my life a lot easier. Well, that wasn't even a challenge. This is why I was happy to leave Gene Corp unattended, because these boys are... Uh... Apparently we can just... Oh, uh, Fire, though? Uh, but the walls won't catch fire, will they? That should be fine. Uh, we'll come and get them to put it out in a second. Tay's apparently collapsed. Oh, shit. Tay got fucking clawed by a great deep one. You motherfuckers. Why are the mines all asleep? Oh, they probably undrafted because there was no combat. Right, okay. Well, the uh, the turrets can take them out, I guess. There we go. It's kind of, actually, the, the, the fire's kind of annoying because they keep retreating whenever they catch fire. I think that was the last one. Did they just... Oh, no, th there it is. It's on fire still. They, they went off again. I think they must have shot one of the little ones that were flailing around. Plague? How have my robots got the plague, game? Doesn't make any sense. Sidini is starving. Oh, right, because they've got mental breakdown. I was going to say, what the fuck are you starving? Sidini, the only one who's not particularly happy during that whole base. Uh, Galileo's also pretty sad. What's up with you? Uh, reactive suit, observed corpse. Fair enough, slept in the cold. Uh, it's 14 degrees in your room. I suppose we could get some heating going on. I'm feeling quite generous right now. Okay, fair enough. You know what? You know what? I've heard your pleas for heat. And you have been granted heat permission. There we go. Right. Um, why have you got one less dresser than everyone else? I have no fucking clue what happened with half the buildings there. Right. How are we doing in this one? Is the, is the raid over? There's one more deep one to deal with. Um, all the Mize, though, are squatted up now. They've all got that quite strong weaponry. So if we have to face something like that again, it's not a big deal. All right. Uh, my four. Do you want to just take out the last one for us? Kill him. Oh, run. Yeah, like actually kill him. Oh, right. Attack. There we go. Oh, they can't run a gun, can they? Yeah, okay. Oh, shit. Fuck's sake. God fucking robots. Right. Kill him. I don't care if we lose any robots. We can just immediately turn out one instantly with the Omnibots. Right, there we go. Fucking can't... It's like a, a whole new game when you can't run a gun. I'm not used to it anymore. Okay, how's this base going? We're looking pretty good. The second wall is built. We do know we need to make this one block thicker now, as proven by those last uh, that last little invasion we've had there. All right, shouldn't be too much of a big deal, though. Let's get this last wall put in. Hey, we don't even need to really bridge over much there. Sweet. All right, and then we need a kill box, like a proper decent kill box. We'll build it in this area here, because that's kind of why I'm keeping this, this door open. Um, we'll go ahead and deconstruct this, and we'll also mine out this little area here. Get a kill box in, and we're ready to go. I've been looking up a lot of, of sort of security advice for this endgame event here. And one thing I thought of was we've got this large shield generator, right? And it puts this big area of, of, of protection, funnily enough, from projectiles around, um, you know, that size. It's, it's quite large. It's quite a sizable thing. So what I'm thinking is we build it deep into the base so that it projects just in front of the kill box. That way they can't fire back until they're inside that. And we can, we can obviously fire still at them. I think it allows bullets to pass out, but not pass in. You'd sort of assume so. That would be a bit shitty otherwise. Um, unless we do it around, like... How does it work? 
I was going to say, if not, we could just do it around like the actual embrasures, but honestly, having one this side is probably not a bad idea. Unless it gives a, a defensive bonus to people nearby? I have no idea. Look, we'll just do it like I said before. We'll do it like that. That way, they're not getting a bonus from it unless they are actually inside the kill box. In fact, we could do it. Let's move myself halfway and do it like that. Um, you're going to block off the entrance there to the to the freezer. Honestly, it doesn't matter too much. I'm not a big fan of them using the freezer as a um, as a method of getting around the base. It doesn't matter too much. All right, there we go. Ah, put that one back. Okay, so we've already got all the components here because I've just been continuously the last things over. Now, I haven't checked on this base in... Not this base. Oh, yeah, no, it is this base. For quite some time. Oh, my God. Look at how much fucking chem fuel there is there is as well. Holy shit. Um... Welcome aboard. All right, then. Uh, let's send a relief expedition over to the next base. So we want to send all of the titanium we've got and all of these Omnibots, which apparently we've been working on as well. 11, 13 kilograms. Fine. You know what? That seems fair to me. Well, that's what we got kicking around. Now, unfortunately, we can't make any more of the crossbred creatures. I did try that and it didn't work at all. Send some more steel, I guess. No, they've probably got a lot of steel. Uh, it doesn't matter. Send them some components. If, we, if we've got components, I'll send them that. Um, you've got advanced components, send those over. If you have regular components, send those too. Uh, shit, we could just buy 900 kilograms here. Jesus, okay. Um, let's also send some beta and alpha poly. I mean, realistically, they could build three walls out of what we could send them, so it wouldn't help out too much. Send them some uranium, I guess. No, because they're going to get... Well, they, get, they can get all of these. Fuck it, send them steel. Fuck this. Right, go. Off you go, team. Be gone, bot, to a new world. Um, we've got a shit ton of Omnibots as well. We turned out a load of Omnibots and I didn't quite take into account. Oh, I know why. I set it up so we always had two Omnibots. Or, or we, we're constantly churning out Omnibots. I set a massive bill and there's only two left on it now. Ah. That explains why we've got so many. Because I think I set it to like make 20. And I was under the impression that we'd actually never fulfill that. Um, I wonder how much time and resources we've wasted on that shit then. And I wonder how much it's boosted up the wealth. You know, I don't even want to check. I don't even want to think about it anymore. Just get me the fuck out of here, honestly. So, what are we currently doing with these then? Nothing, just, just waiting for these to be launched. Now, I did jiggle around their work as well. So, uh, refuel, rearm, load is priority one. What the fuck are you doing then if you're not loading the drop pods? Refining chem fuel? Why are you not? Why are you not? Wait, it's refining. Oh, refining is before loading on the list. Okay, so the way we'll do it then is we'll swap those around. Um, we'll do it like this. Uh, refining t is the only level two job. We'll swap, swap it over so it looks like that instead, and hopefully that means they're constantly and only basically prioritizing refueling, uh, refining, that type of uh, that type of shit. Basically just drop pods all in. And then this one, secondary colony. No, third colony. How are we looking over here? Um, estate? What happened? We've got some dead bodies. Uh, these boys are set to flee. Is that from before? Yeah, it must be from before. And they're frozen, so they want to... Okay, fair enough. Right, so what we want to do then is get... I think we need one more drop pod, won't we? Because of the whole uh, additional one that we've got at the main base. We'll just do something like that for now. Uh, select similar. Get rid of all of these. Build one more drop pod. Get this shit over to the other base. And then I'm actually going to start it. Even if, we're, even if I'm not entirely convinced we're ready, I'm going to start it. Let it be a challenge. Apparently we made an ally. The Pact of Hinderloss are now our allies because they enjoyed stopping Gene Corp so much. Well, that's fucking great. Allied Villager. Hey, we're making friends before we leave. That's pretty good to see. Right, these should be more, more or less ready to launch at this stage, right? What the fuck are we waiting on? 130 titanium. Five steel. Is that really what we're waiting on? Oh, right, another 400 titanium. Okay, fair enough. Um, the Mize are apparently doing something else. Rather than... Okay, there we go. Making some more chem fuel. I don't know why the hell sometimes they won't... Like, they, they clearly prioritize to load these things first. Yet they're still refining stuff. Oh, well. You know what? Whatever floats your boat. Yes, good. Rise, my Omnibot... Uh, R rise, my... There we go. <laughs> my Omnibot army. Holy shit. The, the farms. They're gonna get it done in no time. Oh, the shield generator looks cool as well. I've, I've only just came back over to this base. This is cool. Must be connected to an airflow network. The fuck does that mean? Not connected to an airflow network. I don't think that matters, does it? Um, Prevents... Yeah. Wait. So we've got to pump the heat out of the shield generator? Oh, fuck me. You're gonna make me learn this mod. At the end of the campaign, you're gonna make me learn this mod. What if we just... I don't know how this works. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not touching it. Okay, I'm not learning any more mods. I'm getting distracted. Doesn't matter. It's, it's really not important. What is important is we build the final last things ready to send in the clowns. Those Laffy Taffy, where the fuck is security? Stop moving the tabs around. Every time I update this damn game, they've moved. Right, 
Titanium Vulcan Cannon. Not the manned one. Put the manned one. Uh, whose manned is this? Right, there we go. So let's get rid of the roof. And then, remove roof. Get rid of this. Get the fuck out. Go on. Leave. Hey. Somebody? Omnibots? There we go. Grantly Grimble. That is the man you can rely on. Alright, security. Manned Vulcan Cannon. Uh, I suppose it doesn't matter which way around I put it. We're going to build a couple of these things because they will roast and toast basically anybody that even tries to come near our base. Um, I'm going to build a couple behind as well so that our... You know what? Building them all behind probably would be a better idea so that our colonists can stand in front and still shoot. Hopefully the Vulcan cannons don't do any friendly fire otherwise we are going to get annihilated. 600 titanium per. I'm going to leave the killbots like this because honestly I don't think we need to overcomplicate it too much. Um, and fingers crossed they won't dig around our defenses or shoot bullets at us. As in, over over the wall. You know, we could build another shield generator to, to, so we don't have to worry about fucking uh, naughty, naughty siege boys. Put one there, and put one there. It's basically the whole base dealt with, right? How, how are we doing for power? We've got grid access of 9,000 watts, and how much do these things take up? 196 watts. Yeah, I think we'll be good. I think we'll be fine. Let's get some shield generators up then, team. This is, this is, like, uh, this is like Hoth. For those of you who played, like, you know... <laughs> Star Wars, what's that? Star Wars, uh, let me think. Uh, I want to see Republic, uh, Rebel Commander, but it's absolutely not. It's, what, it's the Luke Skywalker one, Plan Hoth. I'll, I'll remember it and put it in the comments. I won't, but that's, that's irrelevant at this point, eh? Right, so what we also want to do then is, for the final little bit of security here, they're going to be running up this area, so I think, on the either side of them, we put sneaky, sneaky boys, by which I mean, uh, it's sneaky, sneaky boys. There we are, shredder turrets. Um, titanium. Shredder turrets. Not enough on the map. Oh, fuck, really? That used up... Wait, you're telling me we perfectly had enough titanium left for these. Whoa, there we go. Man, we're pretty damn well shielded now. Those things are cool. All right. Um, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're fine. Uh, don't worry about the titanium ones. I just built up some, like, steel ones. They're only to, to help keep their numbers down anyway. Um, we'll just do it a little bit like that, eh? How's that? A little bit staggered. Um, build another one there, there, and there. And then I'd like some titanium precision turrets as well, or, or basically any sort of precision turret, because those things can roast them and toast them from about five miles away. Um, if we do, like, three either side, there we go. I think that's pretty good. You know what? It's not the greatest kill box. It's also wonky and completely off-center, but I'll take it. It doesn't matter. I will take it. All right, so let's do it. Like, fuck it. I'm actually genuinely going to boot this, boot this bad boy up. Uh, start ship. Take 15 days? Are you fucking serious? 15 days. I'm actually livid. Component already ship reactor. Starting up, 15 days. I'm disgusted and appalled. Am I gonna have to do another fucking episode? Final part two, coming soon. Thank you all for watching. We'll leave this one here today. Final part one. That's what I'm calling it, because it basically is. We've started the ship. Final part two. I will try and get up as soon as I can uh, after this after this episode. We'll, we'll aim for like... I don't know. Do I want to put up another episode today? Kinda, because I want to get the series out of the way. I think I'll go up for regular time. You know what? We'll stick with regular time, because that also gives me time to get together a new big mod pack. If you have any suggestions for future playthroughs of Rimod in a more medieval fantasy style, please let me know of those, and I'll start chugging something together. The ship is active. Let's see what they've got for us. And a big shout out to all of the insane top tier level patrons for making this series possible in the first place. Big T, Timmy, Zachary Harris, Harika, Lucas Holting, Sean Thornton, Lolorus, Haydog, Sidini, Necrophilan, Asuna Kirito, Facundo Vasquez, Croesus, I'm the Lizard King, Josh Lynn, Dean Tesla, Michael Mullen, Tyler Burt, Jacob Alexander Fenton, Palvis Presley, Logan Thorne, Conspired C, Orkswolf, Average Gamer 419 Escape, and Jackson Whitman, Paul's Rimod. For the support of the insane tier levels on Patreon, thank you for that. And a big shout out as well to Nathaniel Lindbergh, Euphrates, Quasar Fox, Jack Allen, Gabriel Vendors, Llewellyn Thomas, Nathan Flores, Euron DeVries, Don Connie 207, Seth McDougall, Joseph Beard, Jordan Campbell, Harry McGowan, Chris. W oh god, that's throwing me off. Uh, Will Wade, Sir Thor the Swede, The Sage. I changed the order around earlier. Oh man, that's fucked with my brain. Asaro, Nick, Fraser Brennan, Kevin Saunders, Betamus Max, The Insane Pickle, Adam Person, Igor Kozak, Haji Dumar, Noah Gallimore, and Panther Pearl. Thank you for your support as well. Twitch streams coming soon. TM. I know I've said that for a while, but they, they genuinely are.